Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sansomi. This is what I like you to do. Do what the sign tells you. Anyway, today's episode I'm going to be doing a time lapse as I said last episode. I'm going to be doing a time lapse building up this little suburban area maybe we'll talk in this in the beginning because I want to of course build a couple of other things as well um, the, the first thing might be that I built I want this to be a little service place in this road so we're gonna have a school of course oh we don't have any money so what a surprise no money so what we're gonna start building instead then is the parking space because I want parking I want them to be able to park here so I'm gonna take this road yeah and I don't want it to be the thickest this time I actually want it to be yeah, not that one either I think I want this one and I want it to go out here but I want you to be able to it's not going to be a very long one, and I want you to. Oh, uh, I thought I was. Can I just continue this one all the way out like that? And let's see what the middle part. No. I do not like the middle part there. Let's do like this that we. Okay. And we'll see how long is it. It is 24, so 12 in is right there. So that's halfway. Like that, and then we. Bear with me. I'm hoping to have this fixed. That's in the middle. Let's do a thing like that there. There we get two sides to the story. Hmm. Now let's see if we can do something fun with this. Namely, put this service road from here out to here and get them to be able to go in there. Yeah, that looks decent, but I'm gonna be doing another control of this one by doing that. That looks a lot better. That node controller is an absolute wonder to have. I recommend you all getting that one as well. Do play around with it first so that you do learn to control it um, because you can mess up things really bad. Um, I've done that a couple of times. I'm not fully learned by, on it uh, even now, but I do have some control now. So. Yeah, I recommend you you really uh, play around with it before you just fix it. Let's just if we have it approximately like that, and then we go to move it. It's, it's another beautiful mod that move it mod. Why can't I get? Let's take away segments and nodes for the moment. Then I have to place in segment as well again because I want to rotate it like that. And then we can take away segment again because it's easier for us to move this one to get close to it and stuff. And we have, we can actually leave a little bit out there. So now the cars are going to be parking there. And then I want to copy it. And I want one on the other side as well. Like that. Now you can see that these are not going to fit into that place. So I need other thing things. And I was actually thinking about doing a couple of these because it's close to this. So let's just place one get out of this and use and move it and now we need segment again because well, we want to align it up with that one 
And then we can turn off segment again, so it's easier for us to move around with this one. Let's go down here. That's good enough for me. We copy it. Oh, well, somebody already parking on it. And we paste it out there, and we paste it somewhere here. Actually, uh, yeah, it's good enough. It is good enough. The car can park there as well. And then I want the same on this side. It's good to have these. Do you call it handicap parking space or do you call it something else? I call well I'm gonna be calling it the handicap. Oh those that, that yeah that lines up. Not quite that, but yeah, that's that's good enough for me. Anyway, on the other side I don't want it because they'll have to cross the, 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 the road and stuff like that here and I don't want handicapped people to have to do that so I'm going to have to do some other sort of thing on that side so does this fit in? No. There is no single three. Are you kidding me? Or is this that's only a one a slight that's not good I wanted one of these lonely ones in a three I don't want them to be two and two like that or like that so I'm gonna have to be doing something else I'm thinking let's have those electric cars thing in the jeans. Let's see if we can find a segment to line this up with to get it in the right because if we do it to this one it's going to oh it did move to the right way. That's good. No more fuss about that then. Let's just place them in now. That's one. Copy it. It is a lot of work here, and I'm going to go to time lapse. Bear with me, lads. I, I'm, I'm just going to build a parking space, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to build the parking lot and the schools and the stuff like that, and then the entire uh, housing projects is going to be time lapse. So you're not going to have to sit listening to me moan about getting this done. I'm going only, I think uh, there is one left, so I'm going to be placing one of these little lads as well. Uh, no, let's just keep it a, a blank, shall we? We don't have to park in every single... The parking space is done. On the other side of that, I want a big school. No, I don't want a big school, actually. Because since it's just one household homes, it's just going to be making a quite a small amount of kids coming to school. But I want it to be here. And I'm actually going to show you why. Because I'm going to be using the Node Controller to have it right at the park where they can crawl to make a crossing. So the school is there now. And we of course we do need a little place for them to go if they're sick and I want that to be close to the school. Fire department, I can't afford it. Police department, we can have a little rural play station out here because we don't need that amount of police since it's just a little village. Now we got it. That's good. And let's see with this one, we'll have to wait with the fire department. And I wanted to, I mean, sure, it's going to get to the Sunset City, to the Sunset City Park? No. Yeah, that's the park area, yeah. Oh, 
sorry, it's going to be covering Elm Square, and Elm, the, the Wood Estate is within the Elm Square, so I don't need anything else, only Elm Square. So that's it for that one. Uh, same with this one, only Elm Square because both both Sunset Park and Wood Estate is within the Elm Square. Where's Madison Grand? Hmm, I'm getting some really messed things here, but yeah, let's just. And this is also the same thing here, Elm Square. And yeah, and M Square, Wood Estate, Sunset Park, and I don't know where the Madison, I guess it's that park up here. Yeah, it's the, that's the Madison. I don't want them to go up there, of course. So I want them to keep it down here. Let's see. Is there anything else? I'm gonna need the fire department, but I don't have any money at the moment. So, you know what, lads? I'm going into the time lapse now and I'm going to be building. So, I'll talk to you at the end of the video when I'm done with the time lapse. Now, time to place some houses and, and get things done here. So, I'll speak with you later. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that was that time lapse. Now, of course, I want to place a little fruit trees and stuff like that in their gardens, and perhaps I place uh, more hedges and stuff like that to separate the neighbors from each other and stuff like that. But this is general, you get the general idea. 
sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. And I did thought that I was looking at this in every house that I placed where the garage uh, has a free exit here but look at this place I mean they drive right out to this box here that's not good so maybe I can move the house by the way so that will fix the problem on this one anyway yeah that's good enough for me if they can drive that all that won't be a problem to get back but this one I need to see if I can move this one as well and I wanted to move it like that yeah that's good enough for me yeah then you can go pass by the, the tree so anyway th this is what I, I wanted to sort of do um, when I make this suburban area uh, maybe I'll do something uh, I do have a problem out here to be honest because I don't know how to uh, paint it out here without get those ugly lines in these sidewalks that's why I kept these houses as I did at the moment but um, we have 240 I think working here hello sorry living here 244 people now we have 75 in the elementary school of them 75 of them is going to the elementary school let's see if there's anybody getting to work now 77 people are working in this farm area we do have some money now so we could build more fields and stuff like that and, and it would bring more workers but uh, let's just for fun uh, I'm thinking maybe I should be doing something here but first of all what I've forgotten here is the this I want the node controller and I want to create this crossing here like that and you can see no boat no crossing so let's get into this painting thingamajing because I want to paint some crossing here now shift and pull and pull yeah perfect and I want to change the colors to white and to white perfect now they can cross the road just when they get out of the park, like that. Perfect. And they get to the elementary school. So they can walk all the way through this entire area and crossing the streets along the way there. I think that looks good. Well, I'm pretty pleased with this, to be honest. And I was thinking, maybe in this, to make a line here with a little less attractive people and I'm not I'm not uh, talking about their looks I'm talking about the status in this in the society to be being a little lower little poorer people moving in across the street here so let's build up this because we need the people uh, we we really do need the people to move into this city so I'm just going to have a wall or row like that I'm going to be satisfied with that actually and then I'm going to do the same on this side so we get people moving in oh that's not beautiful but let's place a couple more like that those three and we go top view something is not very straight there i don't know why but okay and we mark all these three buildings and we try to line it up with the other buildings right there i think that will be will do let's see so are these yeah 15 households in each and every one of those 
so that should give me a couple of people. Now I want to make something like this as well. I'm going to be doing this part, placing it right here, like that. That's going to give some, and that's going to make a couple of people quite happy. I'm going to be placing one here in the corner, and one here in this corner. Like that, maybe I nah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. We have three very good parts, and uh, yeah, let's see how many people do we have living in Elm Square now? Then 413. Is there any of them working here? 110 in there up to now, so yeah, maybe they do get to work there. Yeah. Now there's two things I need, or just one thing I need to check, or two things I could say. The first thing is, do I have all the services that is needed for this part of the city? No, I don't. I don't have the high school, but I, as I see, I have 93,000 here. I think I want to be choosing the other place to prioritize and see. And what I mean by that is, do I have all the other essential, and I have all of those. What I might be needing now is, of course, a cemetery, and I, that's okay. But what I was thinking about was this one. And to be honest, is to see if it takes care of everything. So what I'm going to be doing is go into this, all local areas, yes. So it's not in the district, home district is Madison Grand, but it's taking care of the entire city. That's good, that's really good. Just what I needed and just what I wanted. As you can see here now, it's producing one megawatt of, of the power. So the second thing I wanted to do, of course, was to continue and get a high school in here now i can't have a high school opposite here because then the park is in the way so let's find our beautiful little high school as you can see we can't fit it in it takes up half the park as well so it's either here or the opposite so i'm, th I'm thinking we up here i'm gonna place it right here so now we have a high school as well in this area because this area is a bit more important if we, if we can do it like that. Let's paint a district uh, <clears throat> with this entire area. Now this is an ordinary district. This is the... From, and this one is not a village. This is a... a It's a piece of the city or whatever. Let's call it Valley District for now. This could be a little sub, uh, sub uh, suburban as well. So do leave uh, comments and suggestions to what to call them and, and so on. And um, please don't let it be crappy city or something like that. But anyway, now we have 606, oh, 700 going to this school here now that's good they're getting a little better educated we want them to be a little better educated and so this one is sustaining it itself um, no goods no place for goods I believe yeah it's the ordinary industry and so yeah but the, I think I'm gonna call it for this episode, episode number three. I think we are done here. Let me look at this. Nowhere to place their goods. What I can do is, is before I quit, is actually placing a silo down here or two. I'm gonna have two. Two of them. That's good. Let's 
just take a look where everything is going and we don't want we just want it to be the over the slide an incoming just local areas no. I don't want to be supplied from the outside I don't want to import anything that costs a lot of money so I just want my own money 115 so I guess in the next episode we're going to reach that 150 I hope you have enjoyed this episode uh, the reason why I didn't build on this one is because that's going to be sort of a park area and stuff like that it's going to be and I'm going to be having some some uh, football field or football arena smaller football thing out here so yeah think about that as well when you suggest Elm Square the, the village name of Elm Square instead of Elm Square since it's not a district it's a village Yep, so I'm going to call it today, or for this episode, so I hope you have enjoyed it. Oh, Boomtown. Sorry, I couldn't control myself when we got into Boomtown, but yeah, anyway. We, we'll start on that on the next episode, and, and the things that uh, that gives us. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you like and subscribe my channel, and... Uh, I hope to see you in the next one. And uh, so for now, bye bye.